Hey, what's up, you guys? Stephen Dunham. I'm inside the United States Army, and I'm aspiring to be an entrepreneur out here in the good city of Los Angeles, and you are watching Truth Be Told. Damn. Something led you from Harlem to Virginia Beach. I can't even imagine. Did you know the Telly Riley, Telly Riley story? How, what year did you move to Virginia Beach? 89, I'm so, pretty sure. 89, so I think that might have been... Before we go there. Yeah. Um, I moved to Chicago for a minute because I got caught Between smoking that? weed in school okay. at around 15. Okay. And uh, two days later, we moved to Chicago. Wow. Because... I, I got caught smoking weed in school. I was a basketball prodigy. Okay. I, was, I was very good. And I got home and my mother stripped me down six foot three to my underwear and checked my whole body for needle marks. Oh wow. Because it was real. So and, at she that was, time, and she was right. And that time like was the heroin everywhere. Wow. Heroin was everywhere. Wow. So this is with the 70s? 74, 75, yeah. 76. Heroin was everywhere. Uh -huh. And she was right. Not that I was using heroin, but she was right to check me because she uh -huh. didn't know me. Your she mom didn't, didn't know she, she didn't know me no more. Wow. She, Wait, so the what kid, was the disconnect? The kid that used to work in the salon? Because, the, because you know, she's busy doing what she do. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty smart and independent young young guy yeah I'm running doing what I do you know and a lot of what is abnormal to most people in normal life is normal when you grow up in that world mm. okay. you know I wasn't gonna do no heroin right because <laughs> to me because I was a kid and I'm looking at a dope fiend I'm like I ain't never doing that right. you know but that wasn't unusual to see dope fiends and heroin addicts all over the place and know people that are dealing in, that was very, very incredibly normal. I've told my partner now who has a house on the beach, it was just as normal as you having sand in your house. Your house is on the beach, there's gonna be some sand in your house. Right. That's how normal heroin, heroin and, and drug addicts were where I grew up. So like, you didn't get involved in that, but you did get caught smoking weed. You moved in to school. Chicago. That's in cool. school. You, you went literally in, in the school, school while you were smoking. <laughs> yes. Okay. You went hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. The whole room was smoking weed, though. I was just by the door, and the police ripped, reached in and grabbed me, and the dean that they took me to happened to also be the coach. Mm. <laughs> so usually they give preferential treatment to someone that's a prodigy. Yeah, I know. He walked straight by and said, first you're off the team. And I don't even know if that would have worked its way out in the next week or two, because two days later we moved to Chicago. Wow. And I was I was uh, you know, I'm fifteen, I'm just becoming cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to the to the all of the older dudes around. I'm just now yeah. stopped getting chased and getting my ass whooped and all of this, you right. know. I'm just becoming kind of cool. I'm in high school. They leaving me alone. I'm on the court. They're proud of me being on the court, you know. And uh, we moving to Chicago to some place where uh, I don't know nobody. But I remember very clearly during the road trip to Chicago saying to myself, oh, okay, you get to be you again. Mm. Because I wasn't me anymore. I was what the neighborhood and the friends and everything kind of said I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.